Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 49 of Ark. Survival Evolved, and currently, uh, this is day 9, hold on, uh, and hold on, yeah, currently it's day 9, or rather it's already day 10, sorry, the last episode was day 9, so I am, uh, I have brought our, uh, what, how, well, between last episode and this episode, what I have done is most of day 10 is going down close towards evening now based on the shadows of this game. Uh, so I have brought uh, Thor and Thor 2 with us and three of our bodyguards. And so we are currently in, this is the middle part is the Redwood Forest which is to our left, if we, so we're looking at it. And so I have been circumnavigating the island. At the same time, I have also been trying to level up our dinosaurs. So our raptors are, two of them are at level 90 now, and the third one is at level 87. And Thor is at level 92, and Thor 2, Let's let's check what Thor 2 is. Thor 2 is at level 94. So he's at level. He has a higher level. Is because uh, we are controlling him and we are so we're killing monsters with him. So that is why. Oh, we just killed uh, a Titanoboa. Oh, I didn't realize something was creeping up on us. What was that? Dimorphodon. And then I just saw, I think I saw a Carno Carnosaurus over here. And at the same time, uh, I think I have explored a little bit of uh, the interior. And we have been doing a bunch of mining. From here, we can see that we have picked up a bunch of metal objects. Or, or metals or raw raw metals which we need to smelt down into metal ingots and over here I thought I saw a carnosaur so coming here has been uh, very profitable for us in that we are leveling up our monsters uh, our dinos like this and see <laughs> they're like uh, See, there's the Carno Carnosaur right there, the, the pink one. See that one over there. Uh, let's see what it is. Oh, it's a level. Uh, it's a level 32. Okay. Let's test it out. And apparently, the smaller trees, redwood trees, we can actually we can actually also break down. <coughs> okay, now sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, now that we have killed off the killed off the uh, most of the small ones. The reason why we're also out here is also I have been uh, trying to get us some pelt. And I spotted, I think that was a di- uh, <coughs> Sorry about that, sorry about that. I think I spotted a, uh, a dire bear. And we have collected uh, some pelts. Uh, if we look at our inventory, we see that we have some di uh, some pelts. So we need dire uh, pelts to make our cold weather gear. And that is one of the hardest things to get because uh, we are not uh, cold weather. Without cold weather gear, we cannot go up north. And up north, there are 
there is oil and there is I think uh, penguins that we have to hunt because they give us natural uh, what do you call it? I can't remember there is a component we need for our hold on here when we look at this I think poly something or uh, polymers yeah they give the penguins uh, yield us natural polymers and for the higher levels of uh, like fabricator uh, even this rifle we need polymers so we need 60 polymers for the advanced uh, what do you call this the assault rifle and then we will also want to have oh, oh and, I that. and then refrigerators they also need polymers so we need uh, polymers so we need to go north and we need oil so that we need uh, because once we start doing our generator we need gas to turn the uh, gas to run the generator so without the generator we cannot uh, so it, it, it makes sense for us to go up north. And so there are other stuff, like the generator, and then we will have like the, uh, what do you call that? Uh, a, a uh, like a food processor, or no, not a food, uh, something that is more, uh, more advanced than the, uh, the clay, the cooking pot that is currently available to us. And the air conditioner. So there are a lot of stuff that. So those dialos are. Uh... Okay, I'm making sure there's no none of these little guys that are. Oh, that's an Archaeopteryx. Okay. <laughs> that's uh, see that one in the, in a distance. I think that should be a dire dire bear. Oh no, it's not. Oh. Okay, so no. Okay, okay, okay. I will, I will. Oh no, no. I think that's a dire bear. Yeah, the distance. Oh, those are okay. So no, no. Wrong one. So these are. Archaeopteryx. Oh, there's so many bugs here. Okay, there's another dialo. Yeah, these dialogues, remember, they were a main pest when we started. And they keep attacking us, so that's why anytime I see them, I'm trying to uh, totally eliminate them from the game. Uh, the nice thing is that they're all so low level, it's like uh, we're never in danger. So all of this constant fighting is giving our Yeah, giving our dinos some good experience.
And we're eliminating all these tiny dilos. I see another one. That's why this constant uh, this constant slaughter is actually <laughs> a way to level up. It's not though. Uh, okay. If we follow this, okay, we we need to follow this. So we're heading back uh, the way we came. I mean, uh, we're heading back towards our base. And see, that's so nice. That's what this is what I discovered when we are traveling with our theories. Theories, things that get our like our raptors get hung up. No problem. We just cleared away for them. So I'm thinking we should bring uh, the two female fairies with us. So that is what I have developed between uh, last episode and this episode is that we have two more fairies, but I didn't bring them with us because I'm not confident about their ability to survive. in the uh, in the redwoods and so I did not bring them with us but I think now that uh, since we have not yet adjusted the uh, high difficulty we have not ticked off that uh, difficulty rating so I think we can bring them over here and also get them to level up and also because it's so much uh, Leveling up the fairies is that they have almost the same. They're almost on par with T-Rexes in terms of size in terms of uh, destructive value and in terms of uh, Health they are like uh, yeah, they're close to T-Rexes and they can carry a lot of stuff and so like I just showed you I just showed that how much uh, metal we're carrying uh, this uh, Thor 2 is carrying close to, I think, uh, 2,000 pounds. Oops. Let's follow the close coastline there. <clears throat> coastline of this uh, next island. Wait, why is it not showing? Because in the past, when I bring our raptors only uh, in our travels, I have to constantly look back to check if they're still with us. But apparently the fairies, we can immediately see the head, so it's no problem. And so I think the next outing, I will be bringing more fairies with us uh, instead of bringing the raptors. The rap first, the raptors. I, I like them for being fast, but apparently with fairies we can invest in their speed, and they can go well decently fast. Like we're mar marching along pretty well, right? As long as we're not overburdened, we're mar marching along pretty pretty okay right we look good yeah 
it, it doesn't give you such an awful, uh, such, a, such a feeling that we can just go like a wrecker. At, oh, where are we headed? Hold on, uh, where are we? Yeah, our security is with us. Hold on, are we still in the... Okay, the, is that deep water if we cut right across? I think that's a beaver dam. It looks like a beaver dam. Okay, so we can come here and trap ourselves a beaver. Again, uh, each animal has certain benefits. I mean, they can do certain things. And I don't know what the beavers do, but uh, it's like. One day we will have to have a dire bear, and uh, we will have to tame a dire bear because they can um, they can access honey, or they can harvest honey without actually uh, agitating the bees. See, I have to constantly check on our. <laughs> Retinue of oh, these are king salmon, saber tooth salmon. Remember where piranhas uh, chewed up our first uh, trike? Not anymore. When we are looking at it from such a high vantage point, not anymore. And also, what I have discovered is that. I, there is a feature in in the behavior. What do you call this? In yeah, in, when uh, we press and hold triangle, uh, we have this uh, harvest settings, and we can enable or disable it. So right now, in the past. Yeah, in the past. I had to occasionally get off, no, regularly get off, uh, to, to to throw away the stuff that our ride has been automatically collecting as it destroys stuff, right? Anytime, because the right click or the right trigger uh, is fighting at the same time it's also collecting. Same with the left trigger. So even when we are just fighting and not trying to kill something, or rather, uh, when we are pressing our right trigger and over a corpse, we are collecting stuff. If it's a live uh, creature, then we are killing it. So the same right trigger does two things. Now, should we go through the interior? across the island to come out on the other side or I think I think it's just as fast you know I don't I've never seen the sun I see the shadow but I don't see the see I'm trying to see if like if there's a sun and then we can kind of estimate uh, what time of the day it is if it's getting close to night that's the reason why we're getting uh, one of the reasons we're going back to our base is that uh, I have loaded up our all our dinosaurs with metal and so I I need to put that into our uh, so these are all fish that we can harvest I can put that into our uh, our forge to smelt it down Oh, the other thing I have to do, I guess, is also uh, harvest some wood. 
because yeah we need uh it takes a lot Ooh, what is that thing jutting out there so this way if if we had the harvesting uh, enabled we would be collecting wood but the thing is i we cannot afford to collect more stuff right now because all our dinos are kind of at their limit we can uh, c continue to collect but then we will our movement will be slowed down and at the same time or worse we will be unable to move it's like us if we are overburdened we will be unable to move so we could have been collecting wood along by doing this and i'm destroying stuff especially those trees because our raptors have a tendency to get hung up on those guys we're, we are missing oh okay i thought we were missing one i think yeah i'm yeah i think it's a better deal to bring uh, the two theories along and leave the three uh the three raptors behind i'm of uh out of a mind to breed more uh theories so that uh, they will be our main fighting force rather than t-rexes because uh, t-rexes i don't know uh it's i guess it, they're pretty hyped up right it, it makes sense Look, they're wonderful they're about the same size as the fairies but the fairies can collect with their right hand they can collect food wood almost everything and f and hide and uh, felt i think uh t-rexes can just collect uh, no i said should I say food can collect they can only collect meat so fairies can collect meat fish hide uh even what uh herbivores eat berries fiber i don't know i don't think it's collected fiber berries um uh, so they are i think more uh utility uh utility wise they are a lot more um i mean they are a lot more versatile okay let us get everybody to settle down okay uh let's everybody whistle all whistle all stop right whistle stop all and then whistle aggressive so if we look at this guy he has some metal on him too <laughs> so he's got see these metals are heavy Wow, that's almost like close to what uh oh we did not level him up okay so this will be i think they will be all combat really so i will give them a lot of help and what is our uh okay our weight is at seven plus so we have a lot of metal collected look at all these Maybe uh, one more. What's our metal like? Okay, we are almost overburdened. Yeah, we cannot run anymore. We're just uh, walking. So I'm saying, I, I believe our trip out there has been pretty uh, fruitful. So we have, we brought in 209, uh, no, 409 pelt. Plus what we already have in place, right? I think we have another 200. Oh, we have, uh, oh, we have, we have I think we have enough pelts now. Okay, we should have
we have 800 pelt and if we look at the the fur gear because we made a trek up north and it turned out we couldn't uh, stand the cold and we were driven back where is it oh the other thing is I think we have the um, what do you call this is the engram for the footwear right yeah for the for the footwear for boots so we should use that instead of spending the money on these uh, okay so we will have fur cap leggings chest piece and gauntlets so each one I think it mitigates cold by how much uh, hyperthermic insulation minus 10 uh, hypothermic insulation 34 okay what does that mean uh, <laughs> hyperthermic okay anyway so and it requires like for the uh, gauntlets it requires 40 pelt cap 56 so they require a lot leggings 96 chest piece 80 so we should be able to make all of these and then on the next trip out we will go to the north I think on day 11 I think is we're getting close to uh, nighttime and so we might have to spend some time in our base and then anyway our timer went off so this is day 10 uh, based on this we can see it is day 10 from here we see it's day 10 no uh, yeah day 10 uh, time is 22 uh, 20 p.m. so the day is almost over uh, I cut the night to be very very short as possible I think it's like two or three hours only a ratio between day and daylight and uh, night time so we should have only about two hours because at night it's everything is dark except for areas where we have torches on so there's no point uh, having good uh, uh, having uh, having a long night so we still have the same long day same day uh, day uh, I mean 24 hours but we have a longer day light rather than short day night time anyway uh let me cut the episode right here thank you guys for joining me i hope you join me in the next episode bye